Did you know that teenagers today are less likely to work than any generation before them? Yep. So today we're going to talk about summer jobs. So it's summertime and school is out. And I want you to think back and I want you to remember one or two of your summer jobs. I know that most of you remember because you were working back then in the summer. In 1980, 60% of all teenagers were working at summer jobs. It was an all time high. But today, today, less than 30% of teens between the ages of 16 and 19 are working at summer jobs and part time work. That's a pretty low number. So right now we have a shortage of teen workers. I just saw a show on TV when they were talking about lifeguards. When I was a kid, everybody wanted to be a lifeguard. My kids wanted to be lifeguards, but today there are no lifeguards. Kids are not lifeguarding. What they're having to do in many, many pools and rec centers and wise is hire senior citizens. So you've got grandma and grandpa up there on the, on the stool watching you because we've got senior citizens on those lifeguard chairs. So what's going on? What's going on? We drive down the streets all the time. We see now hiring signs. So why aren't kids working? I wondered this question, so I made a decision to call Mel Clymans. He's the CEO of Humanetrics, and he is an expert on hiring and retaining workers that work at an hourly wage. I thought Mel would know. So I said, Mel, what's going on? Why aren't kids working today? And he said, a lot of it is not really the kids' fault. A lot of it is that schools are much harder today and they're challenged by schools and they're doing schoolwork and they're going to summer school. And he said parents are different today. Parents are helping their kids with their applications to get into college. And he said on those applications, you've got to have community projects. You've got to have volunteer services. And right now, he said, there's no time for work. He said kids are bogged down with so many things that work is not on their agenda. But I said, Mel, I remember back to my job and I think that summer jobs can benefit kids more than they can hurt them. So we started talking about some of the benefits and the number one one is responsibility, right? You know, a summer job, you've got responsibility. First of all, you gotta get up. You've gotta be there on time. You've gotta look presentable. You've gotta wash and comb your hair and you've gotta do the job that they've asked of you. So responsibility is key. Secondly, it grows your relationship with money. Bringing that money in every week and watching that money grow is a huge, huge learning lesson. And you know what? It keeps your kids out of trouble. I know I wanted my kids to have a summer job, so I, I knew where they were. Mel said, those are all good. But he said, right now, today, we're talking so much about EQ, emotional intelligence. He said, I want you to think about, I want you to think about your summer job. I want you to think about that stress and that anxiety, trying to fit in and work with the boss, working with people you don't know. He said, it's a great time for young people to begin to examine their emotions. Because Gen Z right now, we're hearing it all the time, they've got a lot of anxiety and stress. So this is a great time for parents to be there to help them, to help them understand the emotions of themselves, what they're going through, and also the emotions of their boss and their coworkers. So when we have a summer job and that EQ sets in, it helps us really navigate our anxiety and our fears. It's interesting because we're hearing all these positive things, but yet SHRM recently did a study studying Gen Z workers and they interviewed people who were on the job for two years or less. And guess what they said? They said the biggest complaint that they had is that their schools, get this, their schools did not prepare them for work. Yeah, well, schools are preparing you for things, but they didn't prepare for work because you know what? If you had a summer job, that job would begin to prepare you for work. Think about it. It helps you work with your bosses and your managers. It uh, helps you with networking and growing your connections. Summer jobs are all of the things that these kids complained about. They said that what they needed the most when they got into work was to have confidence, to speak with confidence, and they felt that their schools didn't prepare them. Well, this job could prepare you. Summer jobs can help you grow your resistance and help you deal with anxiety. So as you can tell, I'm very pro summer jobs, but I don't have all the answers, so I'd like to hear from you. So take a moment. If you're a Gen X or millennial baby boomer, put your, put your summer job, your favorite summer job, and maybe what you learn from it in the comments. And Gen Z, if you're working and a summer job has helped you in the job that you've got right now, I would love to hear from you. Let's keep the conversation going, and I'll see you in the comments.
Hey, it's Karen McCullough with another lesson from the road.